We already discussed about cohort study which is a type of analytical study design. And another type of analytical study design is case control study. So there is a case. What is a case? Any individual who is suffering from a disease is called a case. So that, that, that is the outcome. Okay, outcome has already occurred. And there is also a control. You know this analytical study designs have got a comparison group. So this case has to be compared with a control. And who is a control? An individual having almost the same characters as that of the case but not having the disease. Okay, so there is no disease. Here there is a disease and here there is no disease. So case and control. And to tell in a single word, uh, cases and controls are selected and we will go to the past okay and find out whether an exposure has occurred or not okay exposure plus exposure not present here also the same thing can happen there can be exposure happened and there is no exposure and after that, we are calculating the uh, exposure in cases and exposure in control and then finding out, analyzing the frequency of exposure in cases to that of frequency of exposure in the control group. So, this is case control study. Case control study. Right? It's a type of analytical study. And from this you can understand that this is going backwards. So this is a retrospective study. Okay. Retrospective study. So those who know cohort, cohort study will have a doubt in your mind. That is how in which way this differs from a retrospective cohort study. Okay. So there is a difference that in a cohort we have the exposure already a defined exposure group is there after exposure we are looking for the outcome so there is in a retrospective cohort study there is already an outcome and also there is an exposure but in a uh, case control study the exposure has to be identified we are looking for the exposure what had happened at that time is that there was an exposure or not that is what we are finding out in a case control study so in a cohort study we are going from exposure to outcome and in a case control study we are going from the uh, outcome back into the exposure so it is a basically it is a retrospective study design right what are the elements of a case control study that is important the elements so the first thing is definitely you know that is selection of cases isn't it so you have to uh, select cases These cases, uh, how will you select cases? Se cases are uh, present in the entire population and those having the disease or the outcome you are going to study. So it has already occurred. So from the whole population we have to get a sample according to um, sample size calculation or the, all the criteria, inclusion criteria, exclusion criteria. You have to select a uh, cases in the from the population so this cases has to be clearly defined i'll tell with an example uh, i'm going to find out an association between all contraceptive pills with the uh, carcinoma breast in females above 40 years of age above 40 years of age so this constitute the cases okay so the selection of cases is very uh, uh, important you have to uh, define who or how will you uh, select the cases what are the diagnostic criteria what are the inclusion criteria what are the exclusion criteria etc should be clearly defined otherwise there will be chance of selection bias it will be there 
because already the outcome has already occurred. You know the presence of a CA breast. So if you are very clear in your definition of a CA breast, there is chance of a selection bias. Okay. And from where uh, will you get these uh, cases? It can be either from the hospital registry uh, or from your clinics, OPDs. From the registry you can select. It is very easy also. Or you can go to the population. If, uh, For example, if there is a population based cancer registry, you can get the cases from there also. Okay. Then after that, second is you have to select the controls. The control should have all the characters as that of the uh, individual having the disease except the disease you are going to study. So a control uh, in the case of CA breast is a female above 40 years of age having the same uh, socioeconomic status or the same demographic features except CA breast, carcinoma breast. Okay. All the characters of if an X is having the disease, the and X is the case, the uh, control should be the X without disease. It is very difficult to get. Selection of control is difficult. That is the main one of the disadvantages of the uh, case control study. And so we go for matching. You have to remember this term also matching. What is that matching? The cases can, uh, you can select the control by matching either the age with the case or the socioeconomic uh, status of that of the case or you can match the demographic details or the race, racial features, the dietary habit, all these can be matched. Okay, either you can match one character or you can match more than one character. The selection of control also should be independent of the exposure. Okay, so this is one of the main trouble or the main difficulty in a case of a case in a case control study. Okay, so after selection of cases and control, the third uh, element is uh, that is getting collect data on uh, exposure, information of exposure. Each case in each case you have to uh, uh, explore for information on exposure this is also a little bit difficult because the patient uh, or a case and also the control uh, will have a recall bias because the uh, individuals will forget that whether an exposure whether they have taken an oral contraceptive pill or sometimes uh, they will remember that they have taken an oral OCP but they will forget how long they are taking, how many times they are taking, etc. Especially in the case of control group. Those having the disease will remember sometime. Most of the time, this, those having the disease, cases will remember on exposure. But the control will not remember. So that is recall bias. And again, it is a disadvantage or of the case control study. Okay. So that is uh, and also the data or information on exposure should be very objective. Even if you are taking so many times, you are repeating the question, the answer should be the same. It should be objective, it should be highly objective, it should be precise and also it should be accurate. Okay, the information on exposure is very important. And then after that, the fourth element is analysis. Okay, here we are uh, finding out the odds ratio. So similar to that of a cohort study, you have to make a 2 into 2 table. This is the 2 into uh, 2 table in case of case control study. Uh, exposed, uh, unexposed, not exposed and cases and controls. Okay. But in the case of cohort study, remember we uh, in the cohort study we put it as deceased and non-deceased. But here the case and control is already known. We know that and we are going back. So we are looking for odds that cases are exposed 
and to odds that controls are uh, exposed. What is the odds that cases are exposed? So, uh, the probability that cases are exposed to probability that cases are not exposed, isn't it? So, uh, cases will be total will be A plus C. So, what is the probability that case is exposed A divided by A plus C divided by probability that cases are not exposed. So, that will be C uh, divided by A plus C. Isn't it? So, the result will be A by C. This will cancel. So, you get it as A by C. And what is the odds that controls are exposed? What is that? Odds of controls are exposed. That is, probability that control is exposed. That is, B divided by B plus D. Divided by probability that controls are not exposed. That is D. D divided by B plus D. So the answer will be B by D. Okay. So the odds that cases are exposed is A by C. And odds that controls are exposed is B by D. So what will be the odds ratio? That is odds of cases divided by odds of control. So the answer will be odds ratio will be odds ratio in case of case control study. We calculated the relative risk in cohort study. Here we calculate the odds ratio that is OR. That is uh, odds that cases are exposed divided by odds that controls are exposed. That is A by C divided by B by D. So the answer will be AD divided by CD. Okay. So this is what is called the odds ratio in the case of case control study and this uh, odds ratio you will get either it is equal to 1 or more than 1 or less than 1. And <coughs> what is the significance if the odds ratio is equal to 1? What is, uh, what is the inference? That is odds of exposure among case and control is the same. That is exposure is not associated with the disease. That is odds 1. Odds ratio more than 1. What is that? Odds of exposure among cases is greater than uh, that of control. So exposure is positively associated with the disease. That or uh, if the odds ratio is less than 1. What is the inference? That is the odds of exposure among cases are less than odds of exposure among controls. So there is a negative association between exposure and disease. So this is analysis part in case of a case control study and here you are not getting the incidence of disease because already the disease has occurred so we are not getting the incidence. Okay. In a way we can find out the prevalence. Anyway it is not associated with incidence but cohort study is associated with the incidence right so um, uh, in a case control study the elements are selection of cases then selection of control uh, after that identification or the getting the information on exposure and then it is uh, analysis so what are the advantages and disadvantages of this um, case control study all these are the advantages can be comparatively easy to perform and quick. We have the case, uh, cases, outcome is with, with us. So, going and finding out the uh, exposure uh, data, especially if we are doing on a record based, hospital based study, it is very quick to perform and minimum funding is needed and it is good for uh, cases which have got a very long latency or um, rare cases. And also, we can study multiple exposures of the same case. Okay, especially if the, in a case of, uh, we are looking for a particular type of uh, uh, heart disease or cardiovascular disease, 
exposure can be smoking will be an exposure or hyper, uh, the hypertension uh, or hypercholesterolemia like that multiple exposures we can gather and relatively few study subjects are needed in a case of case control study and there are also so many disadvantages the first thing is we cannot get data on incidence and subject to bias which all type I already uh, told that, that there is chance of selection bias and also there is chance of recall bias okay uh, that will be there but the uh, selection bias you can minimize to a uh, extent by uh, defining the cases and also defining the control but the recall bias is difficult to manage and this is also very difficult if the record keeping is very poor or it is very inefficient it's difficult and also selection of control it is another uh, difficulty with the case control study to, to summarize case control study is a type of uh, analytical study design and there is a comparison case and also a uh, control group is there we are comparing the cases with that of the control and uh, it, uh, we are going backwards retrospective study and finding out the exposure and the selection of cases and selection of control should be uh, very accurate well defined before starting of the study and in the analysis part it is the odds ratio we are finding out that is the odds of uh, cases that exposed to odds that controls are exposed and we are not looking into the incidence of the study or an, an, we are not measuring the frequency of uh, disease right so this is case control study